This car is capable of 1,300 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing about 35, 40 yeah. or so. And then we just step into it like this. Wow. And those turbos kick in. Welcome to Post Rally Testing. I'm your boy Country. I'm your man Zach, and today we have for you a 2015 Lamborghini Huracan LP610 4. This ain't no ordinary Lamborghini. Alright, so Country, first things first, you always know how it goes. What do you think of the color? I like the color. Like the um, color? You seem like you don't love it. You like it? Uh, you asked me if I like the color. I didn't say I love the color. Alright, fair enough. But fair enough. I like it, um, you know, definitely an exterior color like this with a black interior, which you guys will get to see in a second. In sunny Florida, it's a little hot, but when the sun hits it just right, it does look beautiful. And if you get just close enough to the paint job, you do have a little bit of a metallic finish, a little bit of a sparkle to it, and it adds a little bit more life to the paint. It looks really nice. Of course, we have your iconic Lamborghini front end with the LED headlights and your iconic Lamborghini badge. I love the front end of any Lamborghini. I don't care if it's a Huracan, an Aventador. What do you think about the way it dips down, how aggressive it looks, versus you know something like an Aventador? What do you think? Listen, man, Lamborghini, man. That's all you gotta say. Lamborghini, man. period. Yo, I like it. It's um, it's a statement. Yeah, exactly. It's a statement. When you buy something like this, you for sure are making a statement. I'll tell you what, man. I like these rims. I know. I knew you were gonna be happy about the rims. So we have custom anarchy rims on this vehicle black but with a nice little chrome touch around it i'm not a big chrome guy I'm not a big chrome guy neither but that look that works you know and especially on you know a car of this caliber i'm not a big chrome guy but it works it actually really does work we got staggered wheels so yes. we got 21s in the rear and 20s in the front so it gives it that nice staggered look a little bit more aggressive tilts the car a little bit forward and gives it a little bit better stability as well now no unfortunately these doors do not go up but what this car has to offer will more than make up for that i absolutely love when i look at the back of a lamborghini and i don't know if you can get close enough i don't know if you can see it on camera but you see like the design that they have over the V10 and that covering, see that design right here where it looks like it's got like texture to it, almost like a, like a tie dye. Do you see that in here? I got my shades on. I don't see Man, nothing. Did you all see what I'm dealing with? <laughs> Is this guy pulling a joke on me? No, I'm not. I'm not. You don't see it right here. We'll get it on the camera. You don't see that, man. That's crazy. Whatever. Come back here to the rear. Why are you getting so upset? You asked me to take a look at something. I'll show you later. Dual exhaust. Now, something about this exhaust is it is wrapped. So it has a very special aftermarket exhaust on it that Mr. Sweet wrapped. He will tell you guys a little bit more about that. And it sounds mwah, glorious. Mwah. Well, tell me a little bit about your car. This is a twin turbo build by Underground Racing, who is the Mac Daddy of, of uh, twin turbo cars. We're talking about a car that will, on pump gas, at the rear wheels, or at the wheels, put out 1,150 horsepower. No way. And with race fuel, we're at 1,300. What? 1,300 horsepower. It's a beast. It is a beast. What is the one unique thing that you can say hands down that features this car and why you love this car? With the twin turbos, it doesn't look anything different than a stock Hurricane. Mm -hmm. This one is, uh, it's like a wolf in sheep's clothing. You don't know what you're coming up against. And all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. It's a pretty insane, uh, insane feeling. So the way we do that is that we keep it in a rolling start like this, keep it in second gear, we're doing about 35, 40 yeah. or so, and then we just step into it like this. Wow. And those turbos kick in, and before you know it, oh you know, my God. We're at 175 right there. That's what, maybe 10 seconds, if that? Oh. 
this is unbelievable. I mean, a lot of credit goes out to Underground Racing. They built a beautiful car. It's uh, magnificent <laughs> workmanship on it. And it, it just is a, a, a fun, fun acceleration. We're living at over 100 already. 120, 40, 60, 75, 80, 200. Insane. Insane. Well, we're going to line up. I don't know what else you need to do, but we're going to line up over here by James. And we don't know what to say. <laughs> Good times. This is, this is, this is amazing. You know, your spin tires probably through fourth gear. Really? You can hear it. Are you shit me? No, you can hear it. Back Holy here. Right over at least 100, 120, you're spinning tires. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, you can hear them like struggling to like stay go and stay like in traction. Wow. It's pretty cool. <laughs> we're, we're in un, un, I, uncharted territory here, I, uh, brother. <laughs> I am. Uh, this is uh, 1,300 so, horse. We're going to go ahead and try to get some actual readings of this test to see how how quick this um, your, your, your Lamborghini is capable of going. You can't do a launch because of the two turbos inside. Is that correct? Correct, yeah. So it's the twin turbos on this, uh, the way that it's set up with the transmission. Um, it's not really made to go ahead and launch on a regular, the way that Lamborghini has a launch mode. Mm -hmm. So when we launch this, we're gonna do a rolling launch. We're gonna do, yes. so what it does is it, it keeps the gears in play already and, and where it's less uh, traumatic on, on the transmission. Well, now, gotta have respect for the car. Most important thing is not only respect for the car, but I know this is gonna be epic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is always a fun treat. So I'm gonna press record and um, we're at your, your time, your pace. Whenever you're ready, I feel like we're in a fighter jet. The way he presses <laughs> all these buttons. And um, hold on. Okay, we are recording. Okay, we're starting off the roll. Rolling. Nice and easy. Wow. Oh my God. Okay, John. All right. We're Give moving on the road right now. This is your world. Insane, right? insane, man. Love you, brother. And Love I always you. appreciate spending some time with you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Tell me what you think about the steering wheel, because it don't got no Alcantara in it. No Alcantara. I am disappointed. All leather um, steering wheel. It looks very nice. Of course, your iconic Lamborghini uh, logo. I would have liked maybe a dual tone, maybe some black Alcantara on the sides, or maybe something to match the exterior color, but it does look very nice, or even maybe some, some accent stitching. I don't know. But you do have some red piping, some red accent stitching yes. all around the leather dash. Uh, the leather dash extends all the way up, and then on top of it, 
there it is. There's my Alcantara. Yeah. So that that looks beautiful. You yeah, know, that's for much. It's and right up in the front. It's right up in the front. The whole entire right, time. exactly. Um, the controls of a Lamborghini to me are absolutely unbeatable. You guys know that. I've said it mo multiple times. Starting a Lamborghini, I don't I don't think anything could possibly feel better than sitting in a car like this, lifting up a lever and firing up your ignition to the roar of an absolute gorgeous V10. And then you have some controls here for, you know, your windows. Um, you can turn your stability control off, parking sensors on and off, things like that. And then you have right below that your climate control and then some stuff for your digital dash, navigation menu, Bluetooth for the telephone, things like that. It's nice, it's clean, it's sharp. I do wish there was a bigger infotainment screen right here, like some of the Lamborghinis that you see. Obviously that wasn't a priority to Mr. Sweet. We don't blame him because you ain't buying this bad boy for the infotainment system, right? So we won't hold that against them. First of all, the seats are very comfortable. The seats are comfortable, I was just gonna say. Very that. comfortable, they're not stiff. Um, I definitely love the leg room and um, I'm telling you this, man, this is, this is a beautiful, mm -hmm piece of art right here right. and when and you're going 150 miles an hour and you need something to hold your coffee no way they thought of everything what <laughs> man that that is pretty impressive that's pretty cool huh that's... so even in a lamborghini huracan you can get a passenger cup holder so there you go anybody tells you a cup holder doesn't come with your car cup holder thirty-five thousand dollars <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> optional price on the passenger side <laughs> I want a Lambo. I want a Lambo. <laughs> Give me a Lambo. John Sweet don't play. He does not play. John Sweet does not play. That's how we do it at Pulse Rally Testing. But don't forget, this could be you. If you have a vehicle that you are interested in having tested and reviewed by yours truly, please hit us up on Instagram at Pulse Rally Testing or on any of our socials. Make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and until then, we will see you next hit time. Hit that button. <laughs>